Those accusations against Brett Kavanaugh in some ways mirror a controversy that surfaced late during Justice Clarence Thomas confirmation hearings. But in the decades since, social media has changed the game. Our Robbie Owens is live for us in Dallas with that story. Robbie? Well, Ken, as you know, social media has become that place where any issue, any concern can find company. And that collective power now has changed North Texas and the nation in ways that years ago we could not have imagined. This dirt was searched for by staffers of members of this committee. It was, at the time, a scandal of epic proportions. A Supreme Court nominee accused of workplace sexual harassment. Justice Clarence Thomas's accuser was college professor Anita Hill. Anita Hill was alone, essentially. Ford isn't alone. Anita Hill was alone. And that's a huge difference. We're talking about hashtag me too. The social media movement that has helped end the careers of powerful men in media, Hollywood, Capitol Hill, even the Dallas County Health Department. SMU political science professor Joe Kabilka says Me Too is a force that cannot be ignored. Um, we have moved to a position where no one feels comfortable taking these claims, and that's all they are right now, is claims, lightly. Because if they turn out to be founded, then you are on not only the wrong side of an issue, but you're on the wrong side of history. Other local experts stress that it is crucial that both sides be heard. Follow the evidence where it goes and, um, and then make sure that the process is an open, clean process. But we're having tremendous difficulty with that right now uh, because of our extremes in national dialogue. But the point of the matter is there is a ready-made audience to appreciate what this woman is saying now. That wasn't so much the case in 1991 when Anita Hill was in a similar position. There were no hashtags in the 1990s. In Dallas, Robbie Owens, CBS 11 News.